Alright guys, today we're going to have a look at the Space Marine Typhon Heavy Siege Tank from Forge Roll. Just a quick unboxing, see what the model's like, because uh, I'm going to be building this very soon and uh, I'm itching to have a go at it. But first off, an ultra mega special thank you to Legionnaire117 who sent me this model. It was such a kind gesture mate and I'm over the moon, I really am. Still in awe, so thank you so much for that. So without further ado guys, let's take a look at some of the components of this beastie. Well, first thing that strikes me is, wow, look at the thickness of that piece of resin. Looking at it overall, it's quite straight, but to be honest, I should imagine it would be this thick. But yeah, it's the first uh, Land Raider version of this uh, sort of model that I've got with this type of hull. And, oh man, I just can't, I mean, look how thick that is. That is just outstanding, that is, it really is. So yeah, naturally, we've got the two side pieces, which are just awesome, they are. Let's just uh, get it out of the bag. And we'll have a look as we go along. So yeah, obviously this is uh, like the floor section. I should imagine it goes on here somewhere like that. Nice. Even the undersigns really nicely detailed, so that's going to be pretty cool. Oh, of course, naturally you've got that big ass beast of a cannon that goes on the front of it, which that's going to look just amazing on this model. It's been a long time coming that the Space Marines have such a huge cannon. Of course, the infamous tracks. <laughs> yeah, uh, looking forward to building these. Not, but you know, it should be simple in theory with the little grooves here that are quite evident, and of course, the sections there. Those should be just slot ons. We will see. We will see guys, because I'm going to build this baby tomorrow, I think. Of course, the top section. Uh, let's just pull that out a minute. Nice, there's lots of detail on here. It's more than I've actually noticed when I've been looking, and of course the cannon's going to be sat in there. So that should be pretty awesome. And we have a small pile of bits, actually not as many as I would have anticipated. So that's obviously a guard for around the main cannon. Which is good. Uh, engine section, very much like the fell blade, I believe. In fact, I think it's exactly the same. Which is, I do like this uh, quad exhaust system. Um, it's going to look totally cool. Of course, we've got the two side doors. Uh, you do have a choice of uh, LAS cannon or heavy bolters on the side of the. Uh, Siege tank. Well, obviously, I think I'm going to be going for the lasses. It's got to be done, hasn't it, guys? And then, of course, we've just got a couple of probably in part uh, of the building hull pieces. I should imagine they go somewhere, obviously. And of course, the weapon mounts, which are always probably one of the most fiddliest bits, but nonetheless, really cool. And I never actually noticed, guys, when I was. Yeah, there it is. Little tank commander. It's got to be done, hasn't it? I really love the pre-hose little tank commanders as well. I think they look excellent. So there it is, guys. Brilliant. I can't wait to get stuck in on this tomorrow. So hopefully I'll have a complete build video for you and a few thoughts once it's complete. But once again, special thanks to Legionnaire117. Fantastic, mate. You've made my day, you really have. So... Hope you enjoyed that little look-see, guys. Hopefully I'll have a Bills video for you shortly. So cheers for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.